Oh, hi. Is that Crobit here? Oh, my strict song card has disappeared. As we see here, we have the sound and video and games controllers, and there's no Strix cards. And um, what happened was that I was away for a while, and then I came back to the computer, and it looked like the computer had been rebooted, and there was no sound, so I started like digging into it, and then I went to yeah, I finally went to the device manager and found out the card is missing. And then I tried um, several cold starts and reboots and even tried to reinstall the driver but no no effect so it's it's permanently disappeared from the list. Oh anyway, let's take a look. So anyway there's the Strix card. Well, I mean it is a bit dirty but otherwise I don't see any problem with it. The cables seem to be still connected. I mean this is SATA cable stuff so it's nothing to do with the sound card. It's just power connector for the sound core. So, um, yeah, let's continue digging. So, let's the card out. Well, the being this thing is simply anything, and of course it's covered up, so I can't really see inside. So anyway, first step is to clean it up a bit. So, I took it apart, cleaned it up. Can't really see anything. It is of major interest. Okay, it's back together again. I'm just gonna throw it in the computer and see if it wakes up. So let's um try and update the device driver. Okay, no better drivers. I think what I'm going to do is try and remove this and see what happens. Get rid of it. Right. Nope, didn't come back. So that's, uh, oh well, that's actually a good indicator. That means that the actual hardware is disappeared from the computer. Analog audio. Temporary. I moved the ground sound card into my extra PC. I'm going to see if it works. Let's take a look at it. So I was able to install the AS Media USB controller. No driver, and that went okay. When I tried to install on the Strix drivers, then it said your device could not be located. On the uh, audio input and output, the interesting it's actually showing um, two SPD uh, PD um, connectors, and that's actually true because I've got one on the motherboard and one on the card. So somehow that's being exposed, even if the seemingly the sound card functionality itself is lost. So, let's so what we say that this card is dodo. Oh well, in this conclusion, I think we can say the card is dead. Um, it's a bit sad, it was actually quite easy to find similar cases online, so the um, symptoms are that the uh, uh, this card on the interface here, it actually appeared implements a USB hub, so the USB <coughs> driver still install and activate, so the USB communication part of it seems to be okay, but then when you try and install, I mean then the sound card drivers don't wake up, and if you try and reinstall the sound card drivers then it will just say device not found, it can't, it can't find the sound card behind the USB device. Also, there's been comments online that when the card fails, it runs hot. Uh, since I didn't do a pre-temperature analysis of how hot, how hot the card was running, it's hard to say if it's running hotter now when it's failed. Well, I mean, it does it does produce quite a lot of heat, even if it's basically potentially not even activated and not doing anything. But as I said, that's inconclusive for, for me, because I didn't do any temperature analysis before when it was working. <coughs> 
I also um, installed it under Windows 11, but uh, I'm still missing in action, so nothing there. Yeah, and then down to value proposition. I bought this card beginning of 2019, so basically we can say that it's run for two years um, before it failed. Uh, it's a little bit hard to say. I mean, it, it was a very expensive, and still is actually a very expensive sound card, so, um, and the components on it seem to be quite good quality, so I don't know. I think it's a bit sad that it actually failed. Um, in our regional electronics guarantees, basically, they run out after six months, so, uh, yeah. Can't really do much about it, so it's trash. I don't know. I will not be buying a new one, that's for sure. So, I hope you found this informative. Please consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it. Merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, the links are in the comments. All contributions will be go towards developing the channel or yeah, repairing this sound-related issue, and um, I'll see you in the next one.